Hey everyone, welcome to Monarch Academy. Today we're going to talk about how to build a text set for grades 9 through 12 with a study in terminal. So a study in terminal is by Kara Lindeberg. It releases on June 7th. This guide is to help you learn one, how to build a text set, and two, what are some ideas that you can incorporate when you're studying a study in terminal with your students. First, a text set encourages student interaction with the text and provides background knowledge for students as they explore essential questions and underpinnings throughout the novel. The purpose of creating a text set is that it engages learners with concepts, ideas, and perspectives outside of a study in terminal or the novel of your choice. It can increase student engagement. It also can be used as scaffolds. It's important to build background knowledge and a text set actually does that in a unique way because you are building accessibility of an understanding and you also can level those text sets around your anchor text. And in this case, we're specifically talking about a study in terminal, but we're gonna have a video for this for a Monarch Academy for each one of our um, novels for middle school and for YA. A study in terminal is a YA book. So when you're looking at building background knowledge, look at team specific areas that you would like to advance in learning and resources. It also can help students by increasing vocabulary. It's important that you vary your text sets. It also allows students to be immersed in a topic as they are moving through and discussing essential questions of the anchor text. They can move out of those questions and into topics that could be self-selected and guided by the student. We're going to talk about that as well, because I think it's important for you to involve your students as you build text sets and consider a collaborative approach to this. So, for example, one way that you could do this is you could talk about what the study and terminal is all about. You can go and check out the book blurb. You can look on Amazon or where you buy books. You can read the short summary that we've provided in our educational resource guides. And by giving students a head start on what the book is about, they can then start creating a brainstorming list or have an online scavenger hunt to look for the best of the topics that are going to be explored. So in our educational resource guide, we do list a variety of topics for each novel. You can have students email you with a pitch. I think it's important that students practice proper email formatting. So asking students to email you their responses and give them a, um, a pitch opportunity for you to be able to evaluate why they should have their work um, highlighted in an upcoming unit with a study in terminal. So after creating a list, you can prioritize material. And this is also important. So this is where your teacher understanding comes into play, where you look at the level of text complexity. So make sure that when you are building your text set, that you just do not look for an informational text and say, okay, we well, have found an article or we have found a news clip um, and that's enough. Because when you think about a text set, it's really important that you give students multiple perspectives and a variety of sets of, of text within the set so that way that they can explore the topic in unique and different ways. So now I have just listed a couple of things, a few things for you to keep in mind. I encourage students to look for comics or infographics, images, photography, video clips, documentaries, um, even movies. Uh, multiple perspectives, make sure that they can look for other novels so that way when they have enjoyed a study in Terminal, they can look for The Outsiders, for example, as another text that could support the work. Or they could go and read more Sherlock Holmes. And if they haven't, please let them. <laughs> um, short stories that have these same types of themes or topics poems and informational text are very important to include. 
Also, when you're looking for websites or online resources, make sure that you teach your students how to search for credible sources. So that way, when they are possibly looking up um, the topics about mental health, they are looking at credible resources that have up-to-date information and hotline numbers. Make sure that when they're also looking online, that they understand that building a tech set is to deepen understanding, but it's also to share and engage with background knowledge about a topic that they may have that someone else might not have. So it may not be where they're looking up something that's brand new to them. It may be something that they want to build on their already understanding about a topic, but that they want to share with others. So let's talk about what is very important for you to keep in mind as you are building a tech set, standards drive a tech set. And these are some questions that I want you to always ask as you're building a tech set, as you're asking students to help pitch, which standards are we addressing with the developed tech sets? And how could these standards be incorporated in a new or extension lesson with the tech set? So our Monarch Academy foundational work, everything is built on the North Carolina standards. And so you can go to your Department of Public Instruction and you can find the standards that are accepted within your state. And also, um, as you're sharing that with students, you're helping them to understand what are their goals and objectives and their learning to take place and their progression with their achievement. And it's based on these standards of what they should know at particular grade bands. So let's look at some of the text sets for a study in Terminal. All of these were found online. So I want you to understand that these are free for public use. Um, poetry is uh, huge in my life. So you will see a lot of extension pieces for a study in Terminal and our text at Monarch. Um, I have listed the text sets here. Um, including music. And yes, I did not listen, uh, list music earlier, but music is key for student engagement. So having them check out the author's Spotify list, creating their own Spotify for themes and having them write a paragraph about why the lyrics that they chose really do match the themes of a study in terminal. That's one of the activities that supports their learning how to see emerging, developing, and refining themes throughout a text through 612. So adding music is really important. So we've listed some vetted resources that we've already reviewed. The author has also reviewed these choices. And this is just to kickstart you into your own scavenger hunt on how to build a text set for a study in terminal. So you can see that the work by Robert Frost and Langston Hughes is highlighted. We have websites that we support at Monarch. And we also have um, listed, again, the author's inspirations behind a study in Terminal, which would be The Outsiders and, of course, Sherlock Holmes. So I hope that you have found these resources helpful for you. If you have any questions on how to build a tech set or you have found some really great resources that you would like to share with other educators, you can comment below. If you have um, any other additional questions, you can always email us at monarcheducationalservices at gmail.com. I've listed some additional text set research. So there's links here that can help you when you're making informed decisions on how to build your tech set. All right, you have a blessed day.